Hello everyone and welcome to our first ever virtual graduation celebration for Wayne State University's Spring 2020 graduates. I know this wasn't what you hoped for as you worked toward this day. I didn't expect it either, but I guarantee we will remember this for the rest of our lives and when the time is right, we will meet again to formally and personally acknowledge the hard work that got you to this point today. Graduation is my favorite celebration of the year, even now when we are forced to do it differently. We're not pretending that this is a replacement for the pomp and circumstance that you all deserve, but we could not let this day go by without celebrating the accomplishment of you, one of more than 3,000 Wayne State warriors who have earned their degrees. It is my honor and privilege to share this moment with all of you, to congratulate you on your accomplishments and take pride in the fact that nothing, not even a global pandemic, can stop us from honoring you, the Warrior Strong. This pandemic is a terrible situation, but one that can teach us. Not everything is within our control and even the best late plans can be upended by the unexpected. What can we learn from this? First, be open and flexible to change. It will come in ways you can't anticipate. Control those things within your control. How should I respond? How can I contribute? How can I help? And be grateful. Even on the cloud of this pandemic, people are responding in heroic fashion, putting themselves in danger for our safety, searching for solutions and cures, finding ways to be generous even when we have to maintain physical distance. Congratulations, graduates. Stay warrior strong and warrior safe. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to the Honorable Marilyn Kelly, Chair of the University's Board of Governors, who will bring greetings on behalf of the board. Thank you, President Wilson. Greetings, graduates, and congratulations on passing this milestone in your lives. I have the privilege of serving as Chair of the Board of Governors at Wayne State University. This is a university that has provided you with a wonderful opportunity to learn, to grow, to prepare to excel in life. We're in the midst of a public crisis, one that we had never imagined. We console ourselves saying, this too will pass. And of course, in time it will. But there are three things I hope will not pass, will not blur as time goes on for you. One is the knowledge you've gained. Another is the valuable friendships you've made. And the third is the wisdom that you've acquired during the time you've been here as students at Wayne State. The phrase, once a warrior, always a warrior, seems particularly appropriate for you, the class of 2020. I know that you will carry your, your enlightenment, your resilient spirit, and your compassion for others with you, wherever the future takes you. On behalf of the Board of Governors, congratulations again, graduates. You have our warmest wishes for every success. Now, please welcome Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Keith Whit Whitfield, who brings a message of congratulations on behalf of Wayne State's faculty and deans. Thank you, Governor Kelly. Congratulations to all of you for reaching this day. In spite of our circumstances, this is a celebration for the entire university. For more than 150 years, Wayne State has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars. Each of our nearly 27,000 students is earning an education just the way you have at a nationally ranked research university, strengthened by the culture, industry, and diversity of its urban setting. You have grown in knowledge and developed your skills in the fields you've chosen. 
please know that you have made us all very proud. But remember, with all that you've achieved, you haven't achieved it alone. This moment is not only for you, but also for your family and friends who made a lot of sacrifices so that you could succeed. So if that supportive member of your life is with you watching right now, please give them a hug or, or an air hug or whatever's appropriate. If they're not with you in the room, sometime today, give them a call and let them know that you couldn't have gotten to this point without them. On behalf of the more than 2,600 faculty, academic staff, advisors, the deans of our 13 schools and colleges, and others who have taught you in classrooms, worked with you in labs, guided you in real world settings, and met with you in their offices, we extend our deepest congratulations. Now, please welcome Anita Welch, your Dean of the College of Education to congratulate you on your achievements. I wanna take this moment to congratulate you on your remarkable achievement. This is your commencement celebration. I wanna take this time to honor you and to wish you all the best. And while this isn't the type of celebration or commencement we had planned at all, it is what we have and it is a time to celebrate nonetheless. You have overcome amazing obstacles in your time with us. You've overcome deadlines, papers, group work, independent work, you name it. And you have achieved, you have succeeded. You know, Anne Quinlan, a Pulitzer Prize winning author once said, it is easy to waste our lives our hours, our days, and our minutes. It is so easy to exist and not live. It is time for you to live. It is time for you to go out into our community, into our state, into our world, and to find your place. It is time for you to live. We honor you, we congratulate you, and we wish you all the best in the years to come. Well done. Thank you. It's my privilege to announce now, albeit with a heavy heart, that recently the Wayne State University Board of Governors, through a unanimous vote, awarded posthumous degrees to three Wayne State students who passed away just before completing their course requirements. They are Darren Adams, awarded a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Duane Carrero Berry, awarded a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology with minors in Latino, Latina, and Latin American Studies and Peace and Conflict Studies from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. And Brijan Moore, awarded a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. These students, now Wayne State graduates, are forever part of the Warrior family. We've reached the moment during the traditional graduation ceremony that is the most solemn moment as I formally confer your degrees. And even though we're proceeding today in a less than traditional way, I still believe that this is a solemn moment because as I said before, nothing, not even a pandemic, can diminish what you've achieved in your time here at Wayne State. The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the President by the Board. Each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, I do hereby confer upon you the degree for which the faculties have recommended you and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. We are proud of you. Good luck with everything you do in the future. Congratulations, Warriors. 
Yay! I'd like to congratulate the class of 2020. Go Warriors! Congratulations! I know you will make a positive difference in our world. Congratulations! Congratulations, psychology grads and the rest of the class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates from facilities and environmental science and geology. And the pups and the dogs. Oh! oh! Hey, Warriors, just wanted to say congratulations on graduation and best of luck with all your future plans. And just know that we'll always be here for you and continue being Warrior Strong. Wayne State University's strength and passion is exemplified by our students who work long hours, in many cases, several years to reach this moment in their lives. Thank you for celebrating with us. Once again, congratulations to all of you.